What's up everybody, back with another raid guide, and today we're taking a look at Guardian of the First Ones on Mythic Difficulty. I'll be going over most of the mechanics, how to deal with them, and our overall tactic for this fight. But before all of that, don't forget to check out my Twitch, Progress Raids on Mondays and Tuesdays. So Mr. Guardian, setup wise you want 2 tanks, 5 to 6 healers, and 12 to 13 DPS. If possible you want at least 6 players up to 9 with immunities for the tank smack. And on the topic of healers, we 6 healed it because it just felt safer. The DPS check is kinda non-existent, but the healing requirements are not. So erring on the safe side we just 6 healed. But more on this soon! Now with that said, what's new for Mr. Guardian on Mythic? Well apart from everything being scaled up, you now start the encounter with zero energy on the three cores around the room. And it's up to you to energize them before purging protocols, otherwise boss will just chain slap purges and you're going to die. So in order to fill them up if you will, you need to hit the cores with threat neutralizations. So the three players that gets the neutralization circle around them needs to Venn diagram that core so it gets hit by all three circles without the players hitting each other. Cue the picture! Uh, not that one. For this we use some marks and a weak aura to make it as easy as possible. And the weak aura will be linked in the descriptions below. And it works exactly the same as the impale weak aura from Sire Denathrius. It will give each neutralization target a number, one, two, or three, and show what position you should take with the bomb. So one will be to the left, two in the middle, three to the right, looking from the middle towards a core. And to top this off we marked each core roughly where the second bomb always goes, just to make it instantly obvious where you need to go. You will have three sets of neutralization before a purging protocol and one set of them while you're inside the safe zone around a core. And this will be the case for all cores unless you miss one. And it is extremely important that you never miss with this, pretty much all of our wipes here was due to missing the core with one or two neutralization, which in turn means you have a lot less time to DPS the boss. Because less energy on a core means boss will have less to drain after a protocol, which means he'll cast his next purging protocol sooner. Now to talk Top this off for the tank mechanic, specifically the obliterate. If it hits fewer than 4 targets, Guardian will lose 20 energy, which is also not great. Now for the tank smash, we used immunities to make this as simple as possible yet again. You need 3 immunes plus 1 tank for each set of obliteration during the elimination pattern, and it's between a minute to a minute and a half between all elimination patterns. And you're doing a total of 4 sets of eliminations, so you either need 6 players with 2 minute cooldowns on immunes, or that can do 2 sets like frost mages. Now if you don't have 6 2 minute cooldown immunities, then you just need to add other immunities to cover it. And in the absolute worst case you can just soak it by splitting the raid in half for each obliterate, but this will significantly increase healing requirements, as well as a lot of raid movement, so it's not awesome if you can avoid it. So how does this work? Well the idea is to have them sit in their immunes for the first and second obliterate every elimination pattern, making the raid healing a lot easier so let's break that down. First tank gets Sunder. As soon as Sunder has gone off, the 3 immune soaker needs to move on top of that tank and pop immunities. Second tank taunt guardian during first obliterate to make sure they get the second one, then it moves on top of the immunes with that. And as soon as it's done, the immunes go out, second tank takes the Sunder alone, and that's it. Important to note, the first obliterate happens pretty darn fast after Sunder, so you really want to be ready to pounce in there with your immunities. To make that a bit easier, I always called all the immune players before tank smash to make sure they were ready and in position for it. Now with that said, let's break down the fight a bit. On pull we bloodlust and drag the boss near one of the cores and all of the raids stacked behind it, next to the circle around the core. First three sets of neutralization goes on top of whichever core you choose as the first one, deal with the tank smashes as mentioned earlier, and when boss starts casting purging protocol you want to heal through at least two of them before moving the boss in. You can let the third cast almost go off before pulling boss into the circle to gain an extra second or two. However, boss can be slow on the move so don't min max it too much, like a second before the cast goes off. Now when you're inside the course circle, you want the raid to ish pixel stack in front of the boss, the 3 neutralization moves into position, then stacks in front of boss when they're done. The beam will target the raid, so just move through boss, then move out when meltdown starts. Now as soon as this happens, pull the boss over to the next core, roughly the same position you had on the previous core, neutralizations to that one, deal with tank smash, and well it's pretty much rinse repeat at this point. After the final core is depleted, it's just a race against the clock. 
boss will eventually start casting purging protocols again, which is your enrage if you will. At this point use any and all defensives you have left starting at the second or third purging cast, as the first one is pretty easy to survive. Kill boss before boss kills you. And well that's pretty much it, the biggest pain point if you want to call it is the threat neutralizations, either players missing the core by a little or overlapping and accidentally killing each other. But hopefully with these awesome paintings and the weak aura it should be a cakewalk for you guys. Now if you have any questions at all about this encounter hit me up in the comments or become a patron or twitch sub and get access to the stanky discord where you can find raid weak auras, healing notes and timers as well as some awesome people who can help you out with anything raiding related. Now don't forget the usual stuff like comment subscribe and ring that notification bell it really helps me out. I'm also streaming all of our progression on twitch so make sure to check that out it's on Mondays and Tuesdays. Thank you all for watching and I will see you next time.